Hey everyone, so this is the video I promised uh, earlier on that I'd make uh, on that uh, expensive uh, printer. Uh, the printer I took apart was a T630, which is an older Lexmark uh, model, but uh, at the time was very expensive. So, what we have here is quite a bit of board. We got uh, gold here, which is not usually found in regular uh, bubble jet printers and whatnot that you find at Best Buy and uh, all of those places. So, we got some gold there, some gold in here, a nice peripheral board got a power supply here obviously got some cop <coughs> sorry some copper some aluminum some wire probably some silver in this uh, switch over here got another board here this is where the uh, main boards and whatnot clip into so there's definitely gold in here kind of like uh, the slots on uh, PC motherboards we also have some uh, wire over there. Uh, we have another board here. I'm not too sure of the contacts here. I'm not sure if uh, this is a copper contact or gold, but could also could be could be gold. And then we have another board here with uh, some gold fingers. And then we have the main board here the brains of the the printer uh, we have again some gold fingers we have a few uh, IC chips and whatnot uh, this is where you put these are the slots for the memory so there's gold in there too uh, nothing too crazy but there's definitely gold uh, then we have our uh, steel uh, quite a bit of it not too too much though and we have this print head I'm not sure uh, this is probably steel and if you open it up I'm not sure there's much else in there uh, we've got some aluminum here we also have uh, two more two motors a little board here which I'm not sure there's anything special here some aluminum two fans so you have some copper bearing motors over here uh, we have this guy here which is the uh, fuser has some good weight to it but you can probably sell just this even if it's non-working uh, for probably five bucks a piece so if you get a bunch of these and you hoard them you can definitely get uh, a few bucks uh, for them uh, then we have a couple of ounces of wire, not too much. Uh, I left some of the wire in the printer itself, uh, which is right here. Uh, I didn't go through it too, too well because it just would have taken me too much time. Uh, another interesting thing about this printer is this stuff over here, the plastic. There's probably seven to ten pounds of ABS plastic if you guys are into scrapping different types of plastics I know you can get uh, prices of anywhere between ten cents to uh, thirty cents for ABS plastic so if you guys know where uh, to bring this stuff to it's extra money so uh, you can pretty much make quite a bit of money on uh, a printer like this uh, you could probably make more money just selling it as is uh, broken uh, maybe get about 25 uh, or 30 bucks but uh, even if you decide to scrap it and you don't want to deal with selling it uh, broken and whatnot uh, you can make some money off of uh, the gold and the metal and the motors and whatnot uh, there's at least five to ten bucks worth of scrap uh, on this table and then not including the ten pounds of uh, plastic and whatnot uh, again, uh, I didn't make a full video of at least the teardown because it would have taken way too long. It took me about half an hour to get 
through all of this and there's probably another half hour to get through all the rest of it so um, that's the video uh, for this printer uh, if you guys have any questions let me know and uh, if you guys want to share anything uh, you can leave that in the comment section below thanks for watching